everybody and welcome back to my channel this is really impromptu on my behalf but as you can tell by the title it's a what to pack for your daughter's first brownie camp so p1 is off tonight for two nights with her brownies and obviously all brownies will vary depending on what camp you're doing as well um, but she's going for two nights and it's the first time that she's been at this type of thing so i'm really nervous for her i think she's really excited and she's gonna have a really good time at the brownie camp they've said they've planned lots of activities they're gonna try and help the kids and the girls learn how to cook for themselves and also clean up after themselves and stuff so hopefully she'll come back a totally new child so we were given a, a list full of stuff that we needed to get luckily most of it we already have so i just wanted to kind of sh share with you what i've packed in her suitcase i have seen some very elaborate things on the internet of what you need to pack for brownie camps and things like that and they're big like huge massive tents and things like this but luckily for this specific one it's quite simple for me so i'm just gonna go through the bag um as it is and share with you what we're packing so obviously first of all this might not be obvious she's taking her pillow with a pillowcase she is actually sleeping in like a dormitory and not a tent so she has a bed which is really good we just need to provide beddings and a sleeping bag so we've got a mummy style sleeping bag it's going to be huge for her but we've got lots of these ready for when we go camping and things like that it's just still got the tag on it she fits in her suitcase so the suitcase we're using is a standard size like airport carry-on hand luggage suitcase <laughs> the next thing it was said i'm doing it kind of in the order that i've packed it we've got a small black this is actually her like comfort blanket which she takes everywhere on all sleepovers so that is what she is taking a soft toy as a comforter which is panda panda's been the lucky one he goes everywhere as you can see is a bit tatty she has dressed him up as queen panda so that's her soft toy a book or a game it says no electrical so the ipad has got to stay at home this weekend um, much to her annoyance so she is packing her harry potter book um harry potter in the order of phoenix this is what she reads every single night so it will kind of help her transition from being at home to a totally new place they wanted indoor shoes or slippers so i actually got these new for her these are on amazon not very expensive they're slightly a bit big for her but they're harry potter because she loves harry potter as you can tell they will hopefully be really easy for her to slip on when she's going from outdoors to indoor activities then we've got pajamas because you need pajamas when you're staying with other people so she's got a harry potter pajamas here i'm only packing one because it's two nights and i just feel like if i'm packing her a pajamas for each night she will probably end up losing things and she has said to me that she's happy to just have the one pair so that's what it's going to do and that's what she's having next up is her underwear socks we've got two pairs of socks and three pairs of knickers that's just in case then as for clothes and things she is currently wearing her brownie outfit so she does she needs to travel to and from her brownie activities in her brownie outfit so she's got her brownie hoodie on a short sleeve top and her brownie shorts and that is what she'll be wearing and i am basing the next two days so she's got a full day on saturday and then like a half day on the sunday basing it on that she's going to be wearing her brownie shorts hopefully for most of it but i have packed an extra two pairs so she's got some leggings and just some like jogging bottoms just in case she gets wet or dirty or whatever really she just wants to change out of her shorts if it's cold i've also got like a white top which is going to get my key but that again that's like a backup one then i've got this one that the brownies have let us borrow they've given all of the girls these this is just like a simple um brownies top there it's not like the uni proper uniform it's like a sports top i suppose version of them it's going to be massive on her i think but they don't have any smaller ones but she's going to borrow that and hopefully wear it for tomorrow and this is kind of the classic brownies top this is the one that she's kind of growing out of so i'm going to pack that one as well just so that she can stay in the uniform i mean they can take their own clothes and I, that's why i've packed a couple of things depending on what her friends are doing because I want her to kind of be in the brownie uniform so she doesn't get mixed up with anybody else and wander off or whatever. I'm sure that won't happen because it's like an enclosed place but I'm just covering all angles. Next is a torch. I bought this one and hubby was laughing at it because it was bought on Amazon and the battery that was inside Amazon was from like 2014 so it's like out of date but it's just a, because it's got Harry Potter on it. That's why I wanted it for her just so it was something a bit more personal but she's got a torch. don't know if she'll use it or for what she'll use it for but it's there when 
it's on the list so i've got it uh next up is a tea towel like i said they are teaching them to do their washing up and things like that so they've got the tea towel a hand towel or a small towel they said i think this is for like when they're washing bodies and things like that a water bottle i've left it empty because i don't want it to spill over all of her uh rest of the stuff in the sleeping bag basically and if i ask her to carry it she's gonna leave it somewhere so it's going in empty and she'll fill it up when she gets there everything is named they've asked for absolutely everything to be named which is fair enough so i've had to write on everything just now uh then we have a spare plastic bag for dirty laundry or welly boots uh things like that dirty stuff all going in the plastic bag she needs to remember that not me which is a bit nervous about then in this bag is her wellies again their name um in a bag just so that they when they get dirty it's not going to contaminate everything else and then we have her waterproof coat which is like her winter well it's kind of a mix it's like her autumn coat so this is just waterproof and i rolled it up and it's going in the suitcase they have said that the maximum amount of money they should be taking is about five pounds so she's actually sorted out her own money from her pocket money jar that she has so she's taking five pound coins with her there has like a little they have like a little shop there where they can buy a few sweets and brownie badges and things like that like memorable items from the trip then we have the wash bag which i didn't actually think about to be honest when we were sitting there at the meeting i was thinking oh yeah i forgot about all those things so she's got a wash bag i've named the wash bag um oh my god inside the wash bag is the toothbrush which i just set off um i've got the head in here but it doesn't fit like in the thing hopefully that doesn't go off randomly before they've unpacked um but yeah that's in there then i have toothpaste for her i also found some of these hotel you know the hotel washing up washing stuff that you nab every time you go and stay i've got these two i've got one's a body wash and one's a shampoo because they said they possibly might have a shower i said to p1 that she doesn't have to have a shower she doesn't want to but she can if she does it is completely her choice and it's whatever she feels comfortable doing so i've packed the shampoo and i've packed the body wash just in case i've got sun cream because i don't know it's been hot recently i don't know what the weather forecast is this weekend but they've asked for sun cream and i bought her a flannel from poundland it's just a pink pound flannel and that's it in her like toiletries they have also asked for a sun hat which is in the car and i need to remember to actually give that to her when we get there and that's about it and that's all that she's taking which is really really good i think it's not like i said this video was super spontaneous and my battery just died luckily at the end of the video but thank you so much for watching i hope this has kind of given you some ideas for brownie camp if you haven't got a clue or you're worrying or you've just been told their brownie camp's coming up obviously your team leaders and brown owls and things will probably give you a list like ours we've been very lucky this time and the first camp isn't anything extravagant she hasn't got to take any special equipment or anything like that and on our list it does clearly state don't pack anything it says no mobile phones and clothing should not be new as it will get dirty so i hope that all your children have a great time at their brownie camps and p1 is very excited and i'll see you all again in my next video thank you